What's poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this Marasaka, baby. Join me as I read you, you all's lives. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Baby, you already know I appreciate each and every single one of you Pisceans. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Pisces, give that self an ass clap, a hand clap, and a ball clap for all of my fellas out there and a pussy flap jack clap for all of my ladies as well. Pisces, you already know I love you. Now, this reading is going to be a love reading. And while you guys are here, I want you to go ahead and put chocolate on in the algorithms, okay? And light up, smoke up, talk up, do what you got to do. Kick your Pisces motherfucking feet up, baby. We about to see what's going down. Uh, this is going to be from the 19th of August all the way until the end of August, coming into September in this love reading. Now, this video is sponsored by King Psychics. I want you guys to check the description box down below to get any other information uh, to get discount codes as well too for um, any of your psychic or tarot needs. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and get my disclaimers out there now. Uh, I will be smoking in this video. I will be smoking like a motherfucking choo-choo train. Okay, now you may not see my face. This is only going to be a temporary setup. You guys know how I do. If you've been here, to all of my OGs, thank you once again. And to my new subbies as well. I'm very much appreciative. I'm just going to get that shit on out there. All right. Now, with that being said, if you know me, baby, you know that I like to flip the motherfucking switch. So... I hope that you all like my setup, all right? Um, and also, I mean, everybody know my motherfucking disclaimers at this point in time, so hopefully I won't have to keep repeating them motherfuckers, all right? Now, this is going to be talking about your person, your partner, whoever the case may be, okay? Your love interests, man, woman, female, okay? Uh, whatever. Take it as it may resonate. Now, with that being said, Pisces, we're about to find out what's happening. This is going to be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, penis, north node, and also for my south node and for my Mars, baby. Let's see what's going down. I'm going to get my romance angels. Now, y'all know how I feel about these cards for my Pisces. Okay, these are going to be the very first cards, and then we're going to see what's crowning you. What's going on between you two and what possible outcomes are happening? So with that being said, spirit, you are welcome into this Piscean reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods. All right, so today... I'm smoking a mixture of wedding cake and slurry cane. Now, we're going to get the energies off top. What you need to know about. Okay. So, let's see what's going down. Pisces, very first card out. We have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others so for some of you pisces somebody needs to you know kiss a little neck have a little kiss a little touch every now and again okay for some of you all it could be trying to bring the flirtation back into your relationship okay uh this could be you know smearing, smelling pheromones i'm also seeing holding hands but definitely understanding the friendship and just flirting all together because you know that is Sometimes what people forget in certain parts of their relationship is to keep that love, okay? So for some of you Pisces, this is to definitely flirt. Now, if your person has not been, you know, expressing themselves, I feel like you might be that person that has to let them know, like, look, bitch, I'm human. <laughs> 
But definitely being able to get up and close and personal with this flirt here. This also could be just using words. Okay, having a, a conversation that brings on some smiles with this flirt. Now, we also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So for some of you Pisces, this could be the basis of your relationship that you need to, uh, you know, speak with friends, talk, get out, communicate, um, try other things with other people. This also could be for some of you guys being able to obtain that relationship of friendship, all right? Um, and also being able to have support in your relationship and in your friendships is is very heavy, okay? Um, is what I'm getting here. Being able to um, talk to your friends, okay, go out, do the things that you like to do, your individuality, but also know how to support others, but not give back too much. Now, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So there are some things in your finances for some of you Pisces that could be affecting the relationship. This could be the balance of the relationship. If one person, you know, has a income or the other person has somewhat of an income, it's to find that balance, all right? Some of you guys also might be um, really concentrating on your finances, concentrating on your career, how you're getting your finances. And this could take away from some of the flirtation, okay? Somebody could be acting very busy or there could be someone who's extremely busy, but also trying to take care of their financial uh obligations okay now we have codependency as well addictions are affecting your romantic life so whatever shoulda woulda couldas okay um thoughts about what a relationship should be or could be i feel a lot of you guys are this very heavy emphasis okay now some of you all could be dealing with the capricorn i'm also getting a sagittarius as well too and a leo when i get codependency okay um, but I, I'm getting that for some of you all, this could be, you know, sexual addictions, finances, okay, spending habits. You know how codependency could go left or right. Um, but, you know, for my Pisces, I already know that you guys are very independent. You know how to do and get things on your own. Um, but at the same time, this could be the codependencies of what you're spending your money in your relationship, okay? But also what you're relying on your partner on or your partner's relying on things for you, with you. Now we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of you guys could have a boy and a girl, girl and a boy. Okay, this also could be your children, like your animals, your dogs, your cats. Okay, your puppies, new uh, new babies, fresh babies as well too, because I'm seeing newborns. I'm also seeing, you know, little puppies and things of that nature. So children could be a major factor. This could be older children as well. I'm also seeing, um, you know, pets. Confidants. All right, and you have honeymoon. Enjoy this bliss of holiday time together. So some of you guys might be getting some sort of alone time. All right. Now, for some of you Pisces out there, it could be some new love. That was at the bottom of the deck. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, if nobody has entered into your life yet, it could be very possible that they might be um, coming in soon. All right. So don't be getting mad at me in the comments down below. Y'all know how y'all be, bitch. I don't want nobody new. Or it'd be like, bitch, talk about something new. Okay. <laughs> so definitely could be some new love around you, Pisces. I'm going to get my birthday cards here. Where are my Pisces? What's going on? What's crowning my Pisces for the end of August in love? All right, we have the Hermit and the Knight of Cups. So there is an action that some of you guys are waiting for, okay? But I'm I'm really feeling like some of you guys definitely have this alone time that you've invested in, okay? Some of you guys definitely could be finding some sort of wisdom or this just could be knowledge, okay? Entrepreneurship. I'm also seeing, um, uh, for some of you guys, uh, esoteric knowledge, Okay, this could be investigative work, detective work, standing alone as well too. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with Virgo. I'm also seeing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But somebody definitely has an offer for you, Pisces. 
okay or there could be some sort of love offer with a cancer pisces scorpio that they want to uh see romantically all right now you also have the four of swords this could be meditating on the energies finding your center finding um your peace okay but also being able to meditate and and know what you want to affirm here okay so four of swords now we're going to see between you and this person so here we go give it to me for my pisces all right so we got the five of wands here there might be a little pettiness where you guys are not speaking to each other or someone's not talking uh, or not really really willing to work things out or work things together okay so we have the emperor here definitely could be an eddies okay i'm also getting somebody who owns their own business or they're definitely all about their coin here okay this person could act very stern very controlling and we have the two of swords so there needs to be a final decision that's here definitely could be dealing with a leo okay with the sun energy but i'm seeing that there's some sort of communication or communication that you guys will be talking to amongst each other or with each other especially if you have decided to meditate on the energy to um, make sure that you have made your decisions okay with complete thought now we're going to find out what's going on between you two, but I feel like your partner definitely has to um, figure out what they want, okay? Or they could be in their head a lot. So let's see what's up. Between Pisces and their partner. So very first card out is going to be my Pisces. All right. So here we go. All right, we have the Seven of Cups here. So Pisces, some, some of you all could be making choices, making some decisions here. Okay, some of you guys are trying to make the right decision, but I feel like with the Seven of Cups, this is having options, okay? Now, with these options, it's definitely time for you to make a choice. This could be keeping your options open, having variety as well, too. Some of you Pisces could be single. You could be on dating apps as well. All right, but I'm seeing that for some of you Pisces, you're trying to fulfill your destiny. So let's take a look at your partner on their side. Here we go. Damn, we got the Ten of Swords. So someone might feel toothpaste here. They might feel backstabbed. Could be some pain problems in their back that they might be having. But I'm seeing that someone definitely could be thinking about some serious emotions. Okay. Uh, but for this Ten of Swords to pop up, damn. I feel like there could be some sort of depression. Or there could be some pain altogether in this person's body. But there's a lot of dark clouds here, Pisces. Um, so I do feel like there could be an ending to a situation where someone has been crying some, some blood tears, okay, or shedding some sort of tears. Someone could be in pain here as well. So I do get that some of you all, there could be some endings or could have been some endings or some sort of tragedy here, okay, or just a betrayal. Someone feeling backstabbed. Look at the clouds in the background. You also have the fool. So this could be needing to start over. Like that flirtatious energy. That laughter. Okay. Needing to have that fun. I feel like somebody wants to step into a new beginning between you two. Okay. Um, now this also could be that some of you guys. This might be just someone taking a new leap of faith. Um, wanting to have that free spirit or that new spirit around within the relationship okay or you could look at it two different ways this could be somebody new that you're getting ready to um, you know have some final factors on with this fool here so definitely making a final decision on something that could be starting new I mean you literally have the ten of swords and the full energy here so some of you guys could be restarting a relationship 
Page of Cups here. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, it could be somebody that wants to show you little love offers. Okay, it wants to warm up to you. Got flowers and roses, some sort of um I feel like somebody wants to get dressed, okay, and wants to go out. For some of you guys, I'm just seeing a lot of romance here, a lot of romantic energy with this page of cups. This could be somebody that's acting very youthful. Okay. So, uh-oh, hopefully the fishy won't go into the wax. <laughs> no fish can be slippery when wet. Okay. So, we're going to take a look at what you need to know about with your partner. Give me the energies Pisces needs to know about their partner. All right, very first card out is the Page of Pentacles and the Sun here. All right, so there could be something about children, or some of you guys could be going back and forth. This also could be trying to find an understanding here with this Page of Pentacles. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like I said, or Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm definitely getting a lot of clarity happening between you two. This could be a resolution, okay, or somebody wants some sort of resolution here. So here we go. Give me more for my Pisces. We have the Ace of Cups and also the Knight of Swords in reverse here. Okay. Full energy coming out once again. So some of you Pisces, I feel like something is definitely rushing in or someone is trying to make up for something here. This could be a love offer. Okay. But I also feel like this is in their thoughts and in their minds. Somebody could be wanting to go upstate or go hunting or something like that. I'm getting Minnesota, all right, I'm getting um, Canada, and I'm also getting um, New York, okay, but I'm also seeing with this full energy here, this could be some city or uptown city, okay, city life, or, you know, midway, that type of, that type of energy, but with this full coming out once again, I feel like there is a new start or a brand new beginning um, that you have to look forward to or that you are going to be willing to look forward to okay now coming out we got three coming out okay nine of wands here so a leo sagittarius aries could be wanting to come your direction um or just all together this person wants to rush towards you or wants to make a lot of actions because it's a lot of um it's a lot of nights here okay also six of pentacles it could be some sort of offer or a gift that this person wants but like i said Somebody might feel like they need to have a getaway or feel like they're overworked or could be burdened in this situation. You do have the Ace of Swords here. So coming out, there's going to be a lot of communication happening between you two. If there was some sort of split in the road or an understanding that was giving you a lot of um, strange information to try to make out, I feel with this Ace of Swords, it's going to give you clarity and truth between you and your partner like i said there could be some sort of gift that might be coming up with the six of pentacles here so stay tuned for that i do feel somebody uh wants to be resourceful to you pisces so give me some advice for my pisces in love give me some advice for my pisces in love all right lovers energy here so this is a connection baby all right, now this is that Gemini energy as well too. Now, you know Gemini, they can flip the motherfucking script. All right, real quick, fast, and in a hurry. But I feel like in this, this partnership is just giving each other exposure, okay? Giving each other a choice or a chance to find harmony, okay? I don't. This could be an interracial couple or for some of you guys, it might be, you know, a different gender or somebody could be a gender bender here. Whatever the case may be, Pisces, I'm seeing that there is a lot of love between this situation. Spirit in this connection is definitely here with these angel wings, okay? Or there is something divine that's keeping this connection together. But it's also saying, you know, just flirt a little bit and take your time. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who might be at a distance or somebody who might, uh, you know, they work a lot. Or it could be for a lot of you Pisces that this situation is taking time to mold itself 
to, you know, make it a little bit more uh, appeasable, okay, for each other. But I feel there is a lot of loyalty here with this Nine of Pentacles as well, Pisces. So this is love, truly, okay, and divine. I feel this is a spiritual connection. Could be uh, past life connections as well. Or somebody's grandmother is watching over this connection. Six of Cups, yeah. So there could be some sort of memories or a child or children that are involved. Okay, some of you guys might have children by this person. Could be baby daddy, baby mama. Okay, whatever the case may be. Wifey, husband, whatever. Um, I do feel like there is going to be a lot of things that are shared between you two. A lot of gifts that are exchanged. All right, and someone definitely wants to exchange some sort of memories or they have a lot of memories of you Pisces so someone has a surprise in love Queen of Pentacles eight of cups I feel like I said someone wants to make it up to you it could be a trip or some something that wants you to uh, go away this could be by the water by the mountains okay by the seas whatever the case may be you have the ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck so there are major offers in this relationship this could be moving together this could be traveling together i'm also seeing um for some of you guys doors that are being opened will of fortune energy here so time is definitely changing this relationship okay also could be dealing with a fixed sign as well too this is scorpio aquarius tortoise okay um and and i feel leo as well too but i feel like for some of you guys this is letting time pass Okay, eight of wands so a lot of connection through communication but like I said this could be fast movement uh, things moving fairly quickly this could be something that might be at a distance or someone who's traveling at a distance but I'm seeing this with this world here coming out there's something that's opening up to you guys but I'm seeing a lot of nudity here so this could be like I said exposure uh, ex explaining and talking how you want to with each other and amongst each other is what I'm getting here now, some of you guys might feel a little, you know, apprehensive about opening up to yourself. You could be just in your computer, doing your own thing, okay, listening to whatever. But I feel like um, for some of you Pisces, you're trying to see the best, okay, which I do see that as well with this Empress energy here. Some of you guys just need to be careful of third party situations. Or um, I feel like between you two, if you've been standoffish, it definitely might be time to communicate because you do have two pairs here. You have the Queen and King of Swords, all right? So the advice is justice. There's going to be fairness and balance and equality between you two, especially if you're willing to work on this together, okay? Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups right behind that and the three of cups all right so just be careful of certain endings that might happen but it does bring in a lot of happiness and harmony and balance okay some of you guys might be dealing with a libra as well too but i feel like you're putting in the fine details and being able to have your space and your time alone and capture the moments that you want to capture is what i'm seeing with this justice energy and also ten of cups okay so Pisces, it looks like things are definitely turning for the better, but just be careful of feeling like you have to turn your back on the situation or there's a third party situation um, that could be involved. This could be family, friends, whatever the case may be, but I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are taking your power back, okay? I love you, Pisces, oh so much. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and let me know what you all think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.